Hello, interwebs, and welcome back. I'm Shannon, this is my show, my life and stories, and opinions, and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with another life vlog, because we're not staying in Florida this week. So, without too much rumbling, let's see what we get into next. Let's go. Hi. I'd like to say hi to you. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm getting ready to head out to the haunted house at the Santa Rosa Mall with my mom and my dad, and I am really excited about it. Vodka's staying home. Um, don't think she would quite understand the spooks being not real, so don't want to put her through that. But I'm excited to go. I think it'll be a fun time, and I'm excited to bring you guys with me. Don't know how much I'll actually be able to record, but I'll try to share some of it with you. And I guess I'll see you guys when we get there. Sean and I accidentally yeah, we shirts it up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Winning is winning. That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. This is a quick reminder to let you guys know that you should hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And if you like the video at any point, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Sorry for the interruption. I'm going to shut up now and let's get back to the video. Experiments in evil. It has been 30 years since the good Dr. Sinclair Porcus was lost in a horrifying experiment gone wrong. 13 years since the benevolent scientist was taken, twisted, and transformed before fleeing into the wild. The time is now and people have begun disappearing. The clues all lead to an abandoned warehouse on the edge of town. You step inside trying to be a hero, but all too soon realize that you've stepped right into a trap. The good scientist is gone. All that remains is the beast called Razorback. And now you must escape, becoming the next subject in his evil experiments. Hey, Dad, it's a Razorback. Yeah. Are you excited? I called the hogs. <laughs> he was calling the hogs? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. They had some really cool rooms, good makeup, good scares. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so I'm just stopping at the Tom Thumb really quick and I am super excited because I'm going to go hang out with my friend Katie today who I haven't seen in over a year. You guys probably remember when she and I got to hang out whenever I got back from Japan. Um, but you know, as life is, I just haven't gotten to see her. So I'm excited that she invited me to come hang out with her and her family today. And I borrowed my mom's car and uh, we're gonna go do that. So first I need an energy drink because I'm tired. I'm pretty much gonna be tired. Ah. Yeah, we have smaller size around my big one. Oh. Just gonna get this one today. But yeah, I'll uh, try and vlog. I can't make any promises, but I'll try and um, it obviously you'll share it or obviously I'll share it you'll see it if I do um, but she's got a lot of kids and stuff there and I, I don't want to invade anybody's privacy so you know these are so cute they're so cute Vodka and I have been laying in bed since I got back, getting a little bit of snuggle time because I'm used to it all day. Not all day, but you know, part of the day that I was gone. I would have brought her, but there were a lot of little kids there, and I didn't want her to be <laughs> stressed out if uh, they didn't understand no to stop judging her. So, you know, just uh, gonna save that for another time. I think when I take her to the convention, um, she's gonna get a lot of good exposure, which will be really great for her. Um, and I think it'll be a little bit more of a controlled environment. There's gonna be a lot of people, but controlled in the sense that I think people will be respectful if I say, 
yeah, she needs a little space. Don't, don't touch her. She's a service dog. Um, but also like, you know, it, it's not going to be just a bunch of kids running around. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, I'm home and I'm hungry because there was food, but I couldn't eat much because everything pretty much had meat in it except for the desserts. And, uh, filling up on dessert is probably not the best idea, so I didn't do that. Uh, be proud of me. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna grab a snack, and then I'm gonna play some Faz with Cooper, and maybe Tipsy and Grace. We'll see. I'm gonna invite them. Hopefully they want to come. I like playing with all of them. They're my friends. But, um, yeah. <sighs> Back to work tomorrow. And then we have, a busy week ahead. Got some exciting things happening. We'll see. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Vodka's got classes today. She hates wearing her hat. She just shook it off. So it's around her neck now. But we're gonna go to class and then we're gonna have movie night tonight on my server. So that'll be really fun. Yes! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> So I told Vodka to sit and she turned around and sat on my feet. Vodka did really well today, by the way. She's a little distracted. Uh, I don't know why, but she did well. And uh, hi, baby. Tomorrow, I gotta go to the airport to meet my sister, because we're going to Atlanta. She's got a concert to go to, and I am just escorting her on the trip. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So my dumbass slept through all of my alarms today. I woke up and I had like 20 minutes to pack because I didn't do it last night and uh, packed all my stuff. I'm at the airport waiting for my sister to get here so we can rent a car. And me, her, and one of her friends is joining us. And uh, we're gonna drive up to Atlanta. So I think I said something about Atlanta last night. I don't remember what I said, but you get to hear it again. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. So we have arrived in Atlanta. We're in a typical hotel room, nothing super special at the Sheridan. We can see a bunch of buildings out the window and a rooftop, I'll show you. But um, yep, pretty typical. But Sarah's getting ready and uh, I gotta get myself ready. And we're gonna get food, which I'm excited for because I've only eaten one of those Winnie and Larry's, I think that's the name, protein cookies. It is definitely a tip bit nipply here. Uh, it's still a little bit chilly here. <laughs> you wanna say hi? hi. <laughs> Guys, this is Kristen. This is my sister's friend who I just met today, but is really awesome. So uh, we're gonna get some Indian food and it is her first time getting Indian food. Yeah. So hopefully she likes it. Um, definitely gonna introduce her to the delicious god that is non and uh, see what else they have on the menu. Hopefully this place is good. That's the other thing. We've never been here. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> I thought Atlanta was called Hotlanta for a reason. <laughs> what do you usually get? Our fancy candlelit dinner. <laughs> so we ordered samosas, there were three, but I was hungry, and so was she, so. <laughs> yeah. Dinner was delicious. What did you think of your dinner? It was so good. Yes! Sorry, I said a bad word. I don't care, I don't care, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're stopping at the convenience store to get gas and also I got us a couple drinks 
but um, there's a police officer just hanging out inside in his bulletproof vest. Very interesting. Got robbed at a gas station in Atlanta before though, so you know. I guess he's it's like, a good thing. He's like, this is a robbery. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hold up, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, I came, I came out. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, oh, was supposed to have already started thumbing the gas. <laughs> She's like, I'm trying to figure out how to open the gas. Uh, <laughs> you just had to push it. She's in the car. She's in the car with the manual. <laughs> Coming through the manual. <laughs> that was like, oh, how did this work? It was hilarious. It was hilarious. All right, we're going to head back to the hotel and uh try and find like a bar or a cafe or a bar cafe something something nearby to go hang out at so yeah. see you guys in a bit like i'm not like blind. I know I saw there's that peach kirsten likes <laughs> guys so we got back to the room <laughs> and we finally know the story <laughs> Kristen and I were commenting on this earlier I want to leave in the camera I'm gonna cry and we were like huh well that's weird that's suspicious that doesn't go in the room <laughs> I don't like, like sweet tea. Really? I've never like you don't look at me like that. You know that I don't like sweet tea. You know by just hearing it. Like... <laughs> I'm not from Florida though. Oh yeah, true. I didn't know that, but <laughs> if, if that's true. <laughs> hey guys, so <laughs> that conversation. We are at the Cheesecake Factory now. Um, of course, getting the fried mac and cheese because you can't come here and not get that. But um gonna gonna eat and then I don't know if we're doing cemetery or battlefield or both I'll have to look at the map and see exactly where they are because if they're close to each other we could probably do both yeah. I don't know why not yeah. but we'll see yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check in with you guys when the food comes and um yeah <laughs> yeah um I understand why you want to go we might have to need evidence for if this guy tries to murder us right <laughs> Look at that beautiful meal. Thank you. Um, well, I'll see you like. So we are heading to drive by, probably not stop at, because I'm pretty sure it's a private residence now. The Pope Walton House. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it, probably in a voiceover mm -hmm. when we get there. Um, I don't think we're doing a tour. I don't think we're doing a Ghost tour. Tours with <laughs> but we're gonna go check it out. If you believe the reports of both staff and visitors, this antebellum mansion and former home of Anthony's Fine Dining in Buckhead is filled with otherworldly residents. Reports include a full body apparition of a woman near the stairs, the sound of kids singing and playing, lights that turn themselves on and off, flying kitchenware, cold sensations, and mysterious voices and sounds. So we made it to the Oakland Cemetery. This place, I mean, 
as most cemetery stories goes, is supposed to be haunted. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. We're gonna wander through. I've got some of my equipment stuff with me, so maybe we'll mess with it, but uh, I'm excited. Historic Oakland Cemetery is Atlanta's oldest public park and the final resting place of many of the city's most noted citizens. Less than a mile from downtown, its 48 acres are full of treasures, history and gardens, sculpture and architecture, ancient oaks and magnolias. It's a wedding venue, a green space, an art gallery, a classroom space, and a place to celebrate the city's rich and fascinating past and future. Are there? Oh, look what's on the trees. What do you mean? Oh, are they? Oh, they're plums. Are they? Yeah, those are little plums. I'm not eating any dead people plums. Sarah, <laughs> I'm not eating any dead people plums. <laughs> it's okay. Where should we go next? <laughs> you can have it point. Yeah back over where we were a second ago? That's where it keeps wanting me to go, is over there. Every time I ask it where to go, it says over there. Okay. Can I take a picture of you? Or you if you want to, yeah. yeah. So my verdict, I don't know about you guys, beautiful, probably not haunted. <laughs> no spoops. Spoops or no spoops? No spoops. <laughs> but beautiful. Very beautiful. Vodka is so happy that I am home. <laughs> Vodka's like, why do you gotta bring her on the camera all the time? All the time. <laughs> and then she puts her butt on me. Dorky dog. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know where it's coming down below, leave a little peach emoji for Georgia. Not only does that help on my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you are here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want to know where they help on my channel, down below there are links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon. There's zero obligation to check any of those out. But if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much. Remember to stay good and gay up, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be Ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs.